interior hinge repair. So you can see that this book has a lot of issues. The spine is coming off. Um, it's worn at the four edge corners. But the issue that I want to talk about is this interior hinge space. A lot of times this will start to pull away from the text block. The cover kind of loosens. And if you can see right down in here, that hinge is coming away from the cover. So what I want to do is get adhesive down in there uh, and reattach it back to the cover and tighten that hinge. So one easy way to do that is actually with a bamboo skewer. A bamboo skewer, just like you would get at the grocery store, um, and I believe we used them in another repair in an earlier video, um, but basically any long skinny tool, a thin brush with a long handle would work for this treatment. What I'm gonna do is just um, have my adhesive here and I'm gonna hold the book so that I can get to that part that's exposed. Sometimes the spine is still attached and so you wouldn't be able to reach from the outside and, and that's usually the case. So I'm gonna show you what you would do in that for that. Basically, I'm just gonna dip in the adhesive and Sorry, it's difficult to hold where you can see with the camera. But I'm just gonna take the adhesive and run along the inside edge of that bore. Like I said, in this case, you could really access it from the outside, from the spine, but I wanted you to see what you could do if you can't access it from the outside. So I'm just getting the adhesive right down in there. I'm being careful not to get adhesive on the spine itself. And the reason is that I want to maintain that space between the spine piece and the text block itself so that as the book opens and closes, it will flex properly. So since I do have access to this outside part, I'll just continue to use this to get down in there. But that'll give you sort of the cross section view of what I'm doing. And obviously a brush might work better in this case, but if you can't access it from the spine, then this is a great alternative. Then what I'm gonna do is just lay the book down and I'm gonna push kind of from the outward, out uh, fore edge in towards the spine to smooth down where that paper has separated from the board underneath. You want to avoid taking your uh, scraper spatula and running down that crease because this has kind of a sharp edge to it and you don't want to cut through the paper there. So I really would just use your finger to adhere that down. If you get any extra glue, you can just wipe it off there. I would put that under weight, probably under a brick like we've done before and let that sit maybe a half hour or so before you proceed to the next treatment. And I'll show you uh, a little bit later how to fix the spine on this book. I did want to show you first though about another issue that happens with the interior hinge. So with this book it might be loose in there but the real issue is where the paper is splitting. So. It's kind of floppy, but it's still attached. And it's even pasted down through here. So what I'm gonna do is I want to try to remove any of this extra paper. If it seems to make more sense to paste it down, you could do that. But what I'm gonna do is just kind of tear away that extra, get any debris out of there. And I'm gonna use my, book, my brick to hold the cover up so that it's in position the way it would be if the book were gonna close. So it's not flopping back, it's in position. And then what I would do is take a piece of um, just a regular ordinary paper, you could even use office paper for this, and what I'm gonna do is cut a strip of it that is the exact height of the page here, and then um, in, as far as the width, I'll lay it down and make sure that it's gonna bridge from the cover down onto the text block, and give me a little bit of a border. So that would put it about right there. You can do it narrower than that, but I'm just not worried about covering up what's in here. 
And then as far as marking the head, maybe I'll turn it this way so you can see a little better. I'm just going to make a tick mark there. Move the book out of the way for a moment so that I can trim down my paper. I'm going to kind of eyeball here. You can certainly measure to get this precise. Like I've said before, I like to use the lines on my mat to help me get things straight and square. Okay, so now I have my slip of paper. This is just some waste paper so that I can paste it out. Had my brush and water again, so I um, wiped that off on my cloth. I'm just going to brush out the adhesive on here. Just a thin layer over the whole piece. And I'm going to pull this out of frame so that I can get my book back in there so you can see. I've got it laying in place. I'm going to lay this right down on the cover side, kind of get that side in place. And I'm using my hand at, the f at both edges of the book to kind of hold it in place so it'll be in the shape that the book would be in if the hinge were as strong as when it was first made. And again, I'm just using my fingers in there to smooth it down. I don't want to use my tool in the gutter there because it might cut that paper again. So I'm just going to use it to smooth down. And you can leave the book open and let it dry this way. You can see where my page is a little bit too long there, so I'll go back and trim that off later. Um, it's pretty simple to do. Just try to get in there with my scissors. and cut away that extra bit. And even though it's not the prettiest mend, it certainly makes the, the hinge a lot stronger there.